Hello. All right. I got a great question in from immortal underscore vegan. And she asked a great question. She said, you know, I've seen your post on delayed gratification. How long has it taken you to get to where you can say no to those fun foods and to wait to consume them? And I love this question because in the Half Size Me community, we do something called a delayed gratification challenge and it's 30 days, but I even tell them at the end of this 30 day challenge, we've gone over the fundamentals. You're gonna have to continue to practice this for it to become second nature. And so if I were to tell you how long has it taken me, I would say I've been on my journey for about 14 years and it's taking me 14 years. <laughs> Now, I will say I'm not at the hard part of the of the journey. Um, I'm just at the maintenance version of it, which is I have to be mindful because I would love to throw myself into a vat of ice cream. I would love to eat all the cookies and, and the fun foods. Uh, that doesn't really go away. But what does go away is learning that those foods are not off limits, that you can absolutely have them, and you just have to wait. So where I started was I had no rules around food. I had no personal boundaries. And I would literally go to work, and if there was donuts in the break room, I started eating donuts at 9.30 in the morning. Then I was on a mission to find the next fun food, and the next fun food. And I was eating fun food all through the day. Fun foods can be wildly different for everybody, by the way. It can be chips, popcorn, wine, cheese, sweets, it can be anything. It's typically the food you struggle with the most. Those are your fun foods. So what my baby step number one, and where I would encourage everyone to start, it's more about time boundaries around this. At first, less about how much and all that kind of business. So this is what it looked like for me. Hey Heather, you start eating fun foods around 9, 30, 10 o'clock every morning. Can you wait till 11 a.m.? Can you force yourself to go that extra hour? And I'll be honest with you, when I first started this, I was white knuckling it to make it to 11 o'clock. I'm watching the clock, tick, 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 tick. Heather, can you make it till 11? Once that became easier, now I'm not having anything at 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Now I'm having it at 11. Then I pushed it back again. Now this is weeks, okay, not days. Weeks of staying at 11 o'clock. And then I pushed it back to 12 o'clock. Hey, Heather, can you wait until lunchtime and have that first treat with your lunch? Sure I can. So now I push it back, white knuckling it there for a few weeks until that becomes normal. And there is a point at which you'll feel it become normal. You'll be like, okay, wait until 12 o'clock is not so hard. I can do this. Then you push it back to one o'clock. What's happening by pushing the time frame back? natural consequence of that happening is less treats are consumed, you're going to eat less calories, and you're going to be putting in healthy parameters and like kind of retraining yourself, if you will, to eat those treats at specific times of the day. Now, the verbiage that you use with yourself is so important. Uh, and I may have to do several videos on this, but, but I do want to leave with this because she made a comment about feeling so focused on the food. And what I want you to do is I want you to keep a Tupperware container and a Ziploc bag with you at all times, desk, purse, car. And I want you to get really good at removing the struggle in the moment. And this is what it looks like. Oh, wow, somebody brought brownies into work. My start of my delayed gratification is 11 o'clock. Ha, huh, it's 10 o'clock. So what I'm gonna say to myself is Heather, you absolutely can have one of these brownies. You get the most beautiful, perfect looking brownie. You put it in your Tupperware container and you stick it in your desk and at 11 o'clock or whatever the prescribed time is, you can have it. Notice, because I'm giving myself permission, I'm boxing that sucker up, I'm keeping it safe, scarcity is removed. I now can go about my work knowing my brownie is protected. I am gonna have it at 11. I remove that internal struggle and battle. Those are some key things. So start number one, can I push my start time back? Maybe by an hour. 
Two, do I have the Tupperware and Ziploc bag? So when I'm presented with an impromptu treat, and this could even work in a social get together. If someone's passing out cookies, you say, oh my gosh, these look so amazing. I would absolutely love to take one, but I'm really not gonna be able to eat this till later. So do you mind if I just bag it up? Point blank, you're done, okay? And what you're doing is you're also giving yourself permission to enjoy that treat later on. So I will do more on these delayed gratifications, but this is honestly how I started. I spent months learning how to push it back until where I got it where it is now, which is after dinner. I have my treat after dinner um, every single day. I look forward to it every single day. If there's a random new treat that comes across my path, I say I can absolutely have it, positive language. I box it up, I make a decision later. If we can re uh, remove the impulsive decision-making in the moment, reminding yourself you can have it and not saying, no, I can't, no, I shouldn't, taking away all those restrictive words, you will see a massive change. But please hear me, the number one mistake people make with this process is they go, oh, I'm having donuts every day at 10 o'clock. I'll just wait till after dinner. <laughs> No, 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 no. Do not go that extreme. You're doing it right now at 10 o'clock. Can you go to 11 o'clock? There should only be about an hour push. And I get the most pushback on this with my coaching clients. I have one who started at 10 and right now she's pushing two and she wanted to start at after dinner and I told her no. I said, you have to start within a short time frame. It's like we just moved the line just a hair to where you have to wait. That's teaching you delayed gratification. That's teaching you patience. It's teaching you not to just go all kinds of wild on the food, right? You're giving yourself that pause and reflection. I hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon.